and hello and welcome to another episode of modular in a week this episode was supposed to be I already announced this in the last episode we were gonna make the talk funny uh, a project from an old Electro magazine from December 1979 1227 uh, using an XR2206 I have built this circuit here, uh, very many controllers uh, haven't gotten the uh, panel yet. Um, but this one is not working as I was at least hoping it was going to. Um, maybe this is how it's supposed to work, but I don't think so. I probably have done something wrong, even though I haven't found that error yet. So. I still need to uh, error check this one to see if I can get this working. What this would have been is a ring modulator, chopper and frequency modulator in one uh, fun little module. Um, but I didn't get that working and this will not be a fun video talking about uh, a non-working uh, module. So instead uh, I have uh, done the wave folder which the Lockhart wave folder. Um, there are two versions uh, Juanito Moore made one uh, a little bit simplified and then there's the original I'm guessing from uh, Ken Stone CDS. Um, and I've made the CDS version super simple to build uh, I say that even though I burnt two uh, transistors building this because I didn't, uh, I missed two resistors. I didn't have a good soldering day, I guess. Messed up two projects. But this one is at least working now. Um, so this one will go through uh, where I found the schematics, what, how you can build this, and how this sounds. And this is all in the uh, in this day 13 um, distortion ring modulation kind of things a wave folder is as the name implies it folds the wave and therefore uh, affecting the noise in an interesting way so before we go and look at all the other stuff I'd like to say thank you to my patrons who uh, support me on this channel and everything I do uh, and Thank you guys, you're amazing. It's thanks to you that I have can afford the time to do all these videos. So with that said, let's go and look at where I found the schematics. The circuit I'm going to make is the Lockhart Wave Folder by Ken Stone, or the CGS52. You can find this on lbdesigns.com website. I'll put the link in the description. Um, there used to be a PCB for this, but it is uh, discontinued. So the only way to make this is make your own PCB or DIY it, uh, which I'm going to do, DIY it. Uh, there's not much to it. Uh, you have the input, a attenuator that actually affects how the wave is folded. Uh, it then goes into one PNP transistor and one NPN transistor. Um, I accidentally fried mine here because I forgot these two resistors. Uh, don't do that, you get magic smoke. I have no idea why I missed this. I'm guessing it's the simpler the circuit, you get more relaxed and you make more mistakes. The signal from here then goes into an up amp and you get the folded output here. Down here is an extra, you get pulses out, so basically this is a comparator, and when you fold a wave, you get more peaks, uh, and those the more peaks you get, you get more pulses, and you get uh, the distribution over the wave is not symmetrical, on the output. So I'll show this. It's an interesting extra effect you can do with this simple circuit. Uh, 
There's an even simpler one that Juanito Moore did, um, which basically he, he's, I guess he changes some values and then he uses, he dropped this pulse output. But if you use a TL072, then you still have that one floating around. So you might as well add this to a small module. One, we, we are taking up the space with a module for this. So we might as well just add one more jack to the module. Which brings me to the panel. Simple panel, you have the input, you have the fold potentiometer and you got the folded output and you got the pulse output and that's it and here is the final result uh, as you can see it is a super simple small build uh, the two transistors and an op amp and just a bunch of resistors uh, here's my two dead transistors that I had to cut off and just add the other two with that resistor in place as well between positive and negative 12 volts. That's a good thing to note is that on the schematics the upward pointing arrow is plus 12 volts and the downward pointing arrow is minus 12 volts. In some schematics that is ground. We had this discussion in the 4011 build as well that here you see ground, you can't see because I scratched out, but here you have ground that those lines, that is ground and the just an arrow down, like so, that is minus voltage. So just to, good to keep that in mind uh, when you build this so you don't connect to ground, then I guess it won't work as well. So here we have this wave folder module and as you can see at the present we just have a sinus wave going in and when we start to turn this We see we almost get the modular in a week logo. And then it goes overboard. And too much, we lose the signal completely. So we get some really nice overtones here. And the second, so this, supposedly this is only working with sinus wave and triangle waves. So we take triangle wave. Something like that. And... But of course, we need to try what happens with a square wave. Bad jack, bad cable. Bad jack. So it just... It shifts it, that's interesting. So it doesn't do anything. And saw wave. Oh, I say saw wave is quite interesting. Here we have the saw wave. And Flips it and doubles it, right? Yeah, doubles it.
definitely is folding the waves. So quite an interesting uh, sonic alteration there, I'd say. Now this one has a a um, pulse output as well. Uh, so just uh, going through a comparator with the threshold at ground. Uh, so even though we here have a sinus wave, I think. Yes, a sinus wave. So take the output here, we have a square wave. With a really interesting effect. So this would be somewhat similar to the wave we have from the beginning. And here we get from each positive wave we get two two pulses. So and if we would do this really slow as in uh, LFO mode then we could trigger a sequencer one two pause one two pause one two pause with this. And if we continue even further we get one that's one we get one in the middle which turns up. So this is an even stranger rhythm. We need to try this. Now we get that do 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 pause pause pause. And there we get the third one. Do 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 An interesting uh, extra aspect of this, instead of just using it as a uh, filter kind of effect. And we have another module for our collection. Uh, wave folder, very fun, interesting module uh, for turning the sound or folding the sound as it were in this case in a very interesting matter making a, or shaping the sound in a interesting way like all the other modules this week I'll, uh, I'll try to continue working on the talk funny see if I can get this to work as I thought it was supposed to work maybe it's supposed to, no it's not supposed to work like it is now the frequency uh, pot and stuff like that doesn't work so I really need to take a look at that um, but uh, can't promise I get that to work. If I don't, then this was the last episode of day 13. Uh, which means we go on to new interesting stuff on day 14. The last day of this two week never ending week marathon. Um, so yeah. Uh, hope we can make some fun modules there too. Uh, I'm gonna make in the last episode or in the last video someone did a comment that they had a bunch of questions they wanted to ask me and wanted me to do a questions and answer video and I don't think about that normally but when I think about myself I think that yeah I have a lot of questions I'd like to ask all these YouTube creators out there or and other people like I ask questions all the time on, on Discord but so maybe that's a good idea so in the next next video I'll make a questions video just to collect all the questions there and then I'll do a follow-up video with all the answers that I can uh, answer all those questions uh, so uh, if you have a question don't leave it here uh, wait until the next video and leave it there uh, and I'll try to answer them all in a 
orderly fashion. With that said, hope you like this video. Uh, build this one, super simple to build. Uh, can really recommend it and to shape your sound in your modular. Uh, easy for beginners as well. Just make sure that you remember all the components and don't skip two resistors whereas you will burn some transistors which I did. So magic smoke. It's not dangerous but it's always a bit nerve rattling when you see it start piling up smoke from your little circuit. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.